Striker 101 presenting the Legion Brotherhood. Striker 101 Productions, and today I'm going to show you these lamps. I do believe there's seven locations of these, and if you're just starting out on Black Ops 2, you, you'd have no clue what these are for. You just think they were in the map, but they do serve a purpose. And when the power is on, or you can use a turbine to power them up, uh, what you do is you back, once it's powered up, the light here will emit a green, it'll light up green. And uh, be it use a turbine or the power's on at the power plant, you just back into the fog, which right about here is all you got to stand. You hear the cancer baby wall behind you just walk out of the fog and it'll jump on your head you walk up to this light and he'll jump off and like dig a hole in the ground and go into the ground and then a swirl pattern lights up inside that now if you're using a turbine to do this pick up your turbine once that swirl patterns in the ground you know the, the cancer babies created the portal you can pick up your turbine it's not needed anymore that way you losing it, you know, leaving without it, and just jump into that swirl pattern, and it will teleport you to any other one of these lights. Now, the one thing I will say it is random. You may want to go to the diner, because that's where another one is. You may end up out near the power plant, between the power plant and uh, farm, maybe. You know, it, it's all random. Now, we're going to I'm going to break up the monotony of this, actually, today. I'm going to go backwards of the way Ted runs his bus route. And we're going to go this way. Because, actually, all in all, there are three of these relatively close together. And here's the second one. It's right at the end of the bus end of this bridge. And... You can use this to teleport. Once the power is up, I mean, you can teleport all over the place between any one of these points. There's number two. And here's number three, right outside of town here. It's in the fog. Uh, the one there at the end of the bridge is in the fog. And we're here in town. And on our way here... Yes, I'm still using the same video. I'm just making several different videos. Well, this one video is paused. If you remember the last video, that's exactly where I was. Uh, here's number four. Like I said, the numbering system's backwards because I'm going backwards this time to break up the monotony of these videos. And there's wonderful Ted on his bus route. Now, this video isn't going to be very long because it, it really doesn't need to be. Once I show you where the locations are and tell you how to use them, which I already have. And here's number five. Now, there are eight of them. No, nine. Six. Right here in the cornfield. No, there's eight. Good old farm. Yeah, this one's sort of off the beaten path. I mean, it, it's visible from the road when the power's on. It lights up. You can see the green light over here. But there's that one. That's between farm and diner. Almost. Yeah, it's almost straight across from uh, the shortcut to town. And that's number seven. Yeah, there's eight because right up here is the last one for diner. 
There is none between the diner and the bus stop. But there it is. Now this one's the most difficult to do, whether the power's on or you're using a turbine. Because the fog is over here. You gotta come over here. Wait for the cancer baby to get on your head. And come around here with it on your head, trying to keep it from killing you, but not wanting to kill it till you can make it to the light. Now, it's all a timing game with this one. Now, why in the hell Treyarch didn't put that over here, which would have been a more suitable location for it? You know, like right here, like it's lighting up the road or something. That would have been a more logical place to put it, rather than around the side like this. Because you just can't get to it, you know. But, all in all, if you found this bit, uh, that's all of them. If you found this video helpful, leave a like. Leave a comment if there's any other uh, videos you'd like to see made for Black Ops 2, um, GTA 5, or Battlefield 3. Uh, any tips and tricks that I know of, uh, just let me know. Um, and... I will make a video of it. Um, so leave a comment. Uh, comments and likes are always appreciated and they do help the channel out. Um, share this video on all your social media and as always, subscribe to Striker 101. Tell your friends all about Striker 101 Productions and, you know, have them subscribe as well. Every subscriber is appreciated and I do read all comments, so, um, you know, if you comment, hey, I'd like to see a video on how to build the jet gun, I'm going to leave you a thumbs up and say, no problem, can do, will do, and I'll make a video of it. But until next time, see you. This has been a Striker 101 production.